Artificial intelligence helping support hospitals during staffing shortages. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Amaya Kuznicki in tonight for Ann Emmerich. This new technology giving doctors a faster look into possible head injuries. News 10's Isley Herschel spoke with Memorial Healthcare staff about the device. When a patient comes into the emergency room with head trauma, it can be difficult to find a place to start for treatment. What we're looking for, your, your brain has an electrical charge. We're looking for that, if that electricity is at, um, moving on as it should, or are we having a storm going on in there? EEGs measure and record basic brain waves, but getting set up with one can take upwards of 30 minutes. Sarah Bell is gonna tell me, or this rapid EEG is gonna tell me, um, more so within five minutes. Sarah Bell is a rapid EEG device using artificial intelligence being used at Memorial Healthcare in Owasso. Kimberly Patterson says, its job is to get a basic reading of brain waves before using an EEG machine. This is excellent for emergent use. It doesn't negate a conventional EEG in any way. It just fills in that gap to say, do we actually need to go and do the whole study right now? Here's how it works. The cerebell headband is attached to the patient. Each knob is turned seven times. Then some gel is released to begin the EEG reading. Cerebell can be used by any medical professional supporting them during staffing shortages. It gives our ER providers, our nurses, all of the staff working with those patients immediate, really, immediate results so they understand what's going on with that patient. Not only is it easy for any medical professional to use, so it also decides if a full sure EEG needs to be done on a patient. That's peace of mind for the patient. AI that is not only supporting staff members, it's also giving peace of mind to patients when they need it most. In Owasso, Isley Herschel, News 10. Owasso Memorial Hospital currently has two of these devices, one in the ER and one in the ICU. Hospital leaders say although this technology is incredibly useful, it does not replace traditional EEGs or the technicians and neurologists who interpret the results.